this demonstration we're going to look at creating resource mailboxes. Resource mailboxes, useful little things, they allow us to set up resources to be booked out for things like rooms for meetings, projectors for meetings, it could also be used for say a parking space for visitors as well that we want to book out. The nice thing about these things is they're self-managing, so as long as we enable the right tick boxes they'll auto accept and auto reject meetings based off what's already in place. So to create one of these resource mailboxes in my exchange management console I'm just going to right click on mailbox, create a new mailbox and what I'm going to do here is just create a room mailbox but as you can see I can also have an equipment mailbox. The nice thing about these things is they're disabled so it stops people logging in and it also allows me to get these things to self-manage themselves. So we'll click our next button, it's going to be a new user so click the next button. The next thing to do is just type in some details. So we've typed in the name of the room. We've got the login name and we'll put in a password, so we'll click on the next button. On here as well, we'll just specify our alias. So we'll put in our alias of conference room one. We've also got the mailbox database server. We'll actually look after this mailbox. Click our next button. Then what we'll do here is we'll just skip creating an archive mailbox and click next. Read through all of the summary and click new. So as you can see, it's created our mailbox. Click finish and sitting in here now we have conference room one. If we just have a look at the properties of conference room one, we can see, generally speaking, it is a user account. So lots of tabs associated with things like users. We'll have a look at a few of these tabs. So first thing we've got here is just got a general page, specifying the name, specifying the alias. We could hide it from the exchange address list if we want. We can have a look at the user information, very similar to a user account. Address and phone, I don't know, perhaps you've got a, a typical extension in there that you use all the time. Which organisational properties you have in here as well. So generally, user settings. There are some things within here though that make these things unique to room type resources. So we'll have a look at these various buttons that we have in place. So we've got resource general. So we could put in here resource capacity for example. And we could say that this room can have a maximum of 16 delegates. We could click add to add in some additional properties which I won't bother with just yet. This is quite a handy little button here, the enable resource booking attendant. By turning this on what it allows the actual mailbox to do is self-manage itself. Without this tick box turned on we can't use the automatic booking and meeting requests. So we'll do that. We've got resource in policy requests to specify who are allowed to actually submit meetings and also out of policy meetings who can submit meetings here as well. So we'll click OK at this point here. We've now enabled the conference room to look after itself and that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.